Hi, my name is Tim Middleton. I'm a member of the Oracle Coherence Development Team. Welcome to the second screencast in the series talking about the new Manage Coherence Service functionality available in WebLogic Server. In this screencast, we're going to be talking about how we develop and deploy applications using Eclipse that utilize Manage Coherence Service. Today, we will not go through the details of what Manage Coherence Servers are, as this is outlined in the first screencast. Please refer to that screencast for more details. For our agenda today, we will have a quick overview of Oracle's Enterprise Pack for Eclipse and the support for managed coherent servers. We will then show a demonstration creating a simple web application, and then we will deploy the example that we showed in the first screencast through Eclipse. Oracle's Enterprise Pack for Eclipse is a set of plugins designed for the Eclipse IDE to support Java EE development. The pack includes support for a number of technologies below. In regards to coherence, it provides capabilities for development and deployment of managed coherence service based applications. This includes support for coherence project configuration, including GAR support or grid archives, integration of GARs into EARS, new coherence facets, and library management. It also includes coherence runtime support. This includes creating launch configurations, running, deploying and debugging from the IDE and running as a managed coherence server. There is also a cache configuration editor with context sensitive help. Let's now have a demonstration of this functionality. What we're going to do is firstly create a new Oracle coherence project or GAR and associate it with an EA project. We'll then create a basic web application with a JSP that utilizes coherence. We'll also associate that with the EA. We'll then deploy and run this on WebLogic Server from the IDE. And then we'll deploy the contact list demo that we outlined in the first screencast to WebLogic Server. Firstly, let's create our Oracle Coherence project. This is effectively our GAR. For this example GAR, we also have the ability to associate it with a WebLogic Server runtime and also add it to an EAR project, which we will do. So I'll create a new example EAR project. We also have the ability to create a starter coherence cache configuration and POF configuration. So in this case, let's just use the starter cache configuration. Now we can see we've got two projects created, an example GAR and an example EAR. So if we have a look at the properties of the example EAR, we can see that the GAR is associated with that. Let's now have a look at the example GAR. But then here we can see our meta-inf coherence application.xml which defines the location of our coherence cache configuration. Now let's create our web application. So new dynamic web project. And we'll call this example war. Again, target at the runtime. We can also add this project to the ear as well. So by adding the gar to the ear and the war to the ear, all the artifacts within the gar are automatically made available to the war. Before we do anything else, we need to add the coherence facet to this project so it understands and uses the coherence libraries. Project facets, Oracle coherence. We don't need these. And save. So that, that has now included the Oracle coherence libraries. Let's now create a new JSP. index.jsp. What I'm going to use is an existing snippet of code. This is a simple bit of code. Effectively what it does, it gets a cache called test cache and it gets a counter from that cache and increments it and then puts it back into the cache. We save that. Once we've done this, what we need to do now is to find a server to run this on. So using the new server wizard, we choose the server type and that will be a WebLogic server 1212 and it's on the local host. We will select a domain. So we'll select a base domain. And we can also select the default projects to deploy on that. Finish.
let's now start our managed server. Now that we've started that, let's deploy our application. So we right click on index.jsp and run on server. Choose the server. We're deploying the ear, which includes the gar and the war, and finish. Now we can see the application is run directly through Eclipse. We can hit the page, refresh the page, and we can see that the counter has been incremented. If we go over to WebLogic Server Admin Console, we can see what has been deployed. Choosing the deployment screen, we can see the example ear has been deployed, which includes the gar and the war file. This is a simple example, but it shows you how easy it was to create and deploy an application using Eclipse. Next, we will deploy the example we used in the first screencast through Eclipse. Firstly, let's undeploy our application. Then we'll move to the other workspace. Our new workspace has three projects, the example ear, example gar and web app. If we look at the properties of example ear, we can see that the example gar and the web app are associated with this. Within our example gar, we can see in this example here, we have some classes that are going to be utilized by the coherence applications. Example our POJOs. Within the meta inf directory, we have our coherence application. This defines our POF configuration and our cache configuration. We can see here we have our web app, which has our web content, and the contact list.jsp is our entry point. So if we right click and run on server, same server. Example here includes example gar and web app. We can now see our coherence container demo is run directly from Eclipse. So I can interact with it as I did before. We can now go across to the WebLogic console and look at the deployments and we can see our example here is deployed which includes our web app and our coherence archive. Today we have seen how easily we can create and deploy coherence-based applications that utilize managed coherence servers using Oracle's Enterprise Pack for Eclipse. Thank you for your time.